In the previous videos, we have shown how to use two methods to support GPU to GPU communication. And those methods are about how to send the data and load the data from one particular GPU to another GPU. These two methods provide great flexibility so that we can access any piece of data that is located on another GPU. However, they're not easy to program. If you want to calculate the average of a few buffers across many GPUs, you still need to write a lot of code. But these features like averaging data across multiple GPUs are so commonly used, so it is a burden for programmers to implement these features every time we need to use it. To solve this problem, Rockham provides RCCL, or Rico library, to support these commonly used features. The RCCL comes from a similar library that is provided by NVIDIA that is called NCCL, Nico. As you can see later, the API of Rico reserves many names from the Nico library. So let's still look at this use case, data parallelism deep neural network training. As we said before, forward and back propagation are independent from GPU to GPU. The GPUs do not need to communicate while they're doing forward and backward propagation. But at the end of this process, we need to aggregate the data together by calculating the element-wise average of the gradients calculated by the GPUs. Then, we need to perform the gradient descent operation. We need to update the model using the gradients collected from all the GPUs to create a new parameter set. Now we need to broadcast this set of data to all the GPUs so that these GPUs can use this new data in the next iteration in the forward and backward propagation process. So basically, we need two features. One is a reduce feature that calculates the average, and the other one is broadcast. So we can see how Rico supports these features. It supports these communication primitives like broadcast and all reduce. So here we can see broadcast can send the data that is located in one GPU to all the GPUs. And all reduce is an API that can calculate the average of the buffer that is stored in every GPU and broadcast the result to all the GPUs. So here we want to show one example. As seen in a previous example, we have seen how to use MPI to program a multi-GPU platform. But the problem with MPI is it can only support CPU to CPU communication. It doesn't support GPU to GPU communication. Rico supports GPU to GPU communication, so we can combine Rico with MPI to support both CPU and GPU communication. Let's see this example. Let's see we have a, this size of data. It's 32 megabytes. This time it is larger. And similar to previous examples, we get the current rank and the total number of ranks in this my rank and n ranks field. Then we define variables required by Rico. So as here you can see, Rico still uses the NCCL prefix because it wants to provide the maximum level of compatibility. So if you have been using Nico to write a program that runs on NVIDIA GPUs, basically you don't need to make any code changes. Now here we need a unique ID and we need a communicator. And we create a send buffer and receive buffer. And we create a stream. Here in the leading rank, we get a unique ID. This is generated by the Rico library. Then we broadcast this unique ID to all the ranks so that each rank can create a communicator. Now we allocate the buffers and create the streams. So how we can communicate using RCCL? It's super simple. We can simply call this NCCL all reduce method, providing the send buffer, receive buffer, the size, with the type, here the type is NCCL float, and what operations that we want to take. Here we're taking an NCCL sum operation. Basically, it will calculate the sum across all the GPUs. But we can change it to average, max, min, or other type of operations here. Now we need to provide a communicator and a stream. Since we provided a stream, you can guess this API is not is non-blocking. As we provide a stream, you can guess this API is non-blocking. So we have to synchronize with the stream synchronized API. So it is this simple. We don't really need to worry about where the data is located. We don't really need to copy the data back and forth. And we don't really need to worry if it's cross GPU memory access. All the complexity is hidden behind this API. Moreover, this API has been highly optimized for AMD platforms and different type of AMD connections. If you are using different connections, you are likely to be able to achieve a good performance. No matter what type of interconnects you are using, you are likely to get a good performance without changing the implementation of your program. At the end, we free up the environment, we 
destroy the communicator we finalize MPI. So as a summary, you can see RCCL library is very easy to use and you can combine it with the MPI library. So the steps to use RCCL library is to create a communicator and other auxiliary data structures. Then you can call NCCL APIs. Then finally, you need to synchronize because it's a non-blocking API call. Its performance is very likely to be highly optimized for a wider range of commonly seen hardware configurations. And you can combine Recall with stream-based, thread-based, or MPI-based multi-GPU programming.